Hello everyone, it's Patricia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring to you an upcoming scent of the month. It's for January 2019. So we're only in mid-December uh, and we're already getting scent of the month up here in Canada. So it came really quick. It actually came on December 13th, which is crazy fast. Because we only pay for it around the 10th of the month. But I usually get the scent of the month. I don't usually get the warmer of the month. But I will share with you the warmer. It is called Illuminate. It is a beautiful glass warmer. So this is the flyer. And there is the warmer. Beautiful 25 watt bulb warmer glass with a lot of sequins. I'll just read to you what it says. It says, kick up your party de decor with Illuminate. Designed to glow big with a glass shade decked out in sparkly sequin overlay. I can barely see because it's dark. Um, it's very early in the morning here and the, the sun is rising so I had to go way back in the back of my room <laughs> to film this video. So in Canada, the price of Illuminate for the month of January will be $59.40, regular price $66. So scent and warmer of the month are featured at a 10% off discount the month they are highlighted. So in January, everything is 10% off, which is the Illuminate Warmer, the Strawberry Champagne Truffle Scent Circle, the strawberry champagne truffle bar and the room spray so just something to keep in mind it's always great to get a savings and you want to capitalize on that so let's move into the scent my favorite part i love the scent of the month now this scent of the month is called like i said strawberry champagne truffle and the lighting is terrible here today but we're going to go with it so let me read you what Sensi says about strawberry champagne truffle, if I can see the, the flyer well enough. It says, fresh strawberries, creamy vanilla, and a splash of champagne will make any celebration. So it is a, you know, pink wax, girly pink. And I did receive this yesterday, I opened it up. Now, I am not someone that likes champagne or wine notes in home fragrance at all. I've come to learn that I really, really don't like it. So I was really apprehensive about this scent, but I am happy to report that the champagne note, in my opinion, it's not an effervescent note. It just highlights the strawberries. So let me tell you what I get. First off, I would say it's a light to medium scent on cold, probably a little closer to light, not very, very strong. I popped it out to smell it last night. When you smell the bottom, it is stronger. So I would say it feels light on this side, maybe closer to medium here. What I get is a bright strawberry. My first thought was, if you're familiar with coastal strawberry, that is a very bright strawberry with a very green vine note. I think if you took out the green vine note, you would probably have a similar strawberry. Now, um, my friend Adrian mentioned that people were saying it's similar to Strawberry Swirl. Maybe the sweetness of it is, but t Strawberry Swirl has that frothy milk note that really, to me, brings the scent down quite low for scent appeal for me. I don't really like Strawberry Swirl at all because of the frothy milk. So I think in my brain I can't separate the fact that it's got that in there. but. But it's basically a very sweet, bright strawberry, kind of an artificial, you know, chapstick, chapstick vibe strawberry. Very girly, very feminine, um, but the vanilla in there, it definitely creeps in and gives it a, uh, you know, a rounded out tone, very nice and soft. And to me, the champagne, I can't really pick up on champagne, but it reminds me of if you're cooking and you squeeze lemon juice in something or lime juice or if you are um, deglazing a, a pan for a sauce and you use wine sometimes you can't necessarily smell or taste the wine very strongly but it's there to heighten the flavors so i think that's what the champagne note is doing it is heightening the flavor or the the scent of the strawberry and it's just making a, a bright kind of tone and now the vanilla is kind of making it like a creamy bright scent so that's my take on it I do like it. I was pleasantly pleased with the scent and the fact that I was worried I was gonna, was not going to like it because of the champagne note, but I do like it. Now I, I've decided to start warming it. I have it warming in my son's room and I have it warming in my room right now. I can definitely smell it in here. I would say it's, you know, maybe light to medium. So if you're someone that likes lighter scents, you might like this. 
I don't find it's lasting very long in my son's room. Now he has a glass mini warmer and sometimes I find they kind of dull the scent a little bit, but we'll see how it does over the next month. I'll warm it and then it will be in my empties at the end of December and you can check back there and I will let you know how Strawberry Champagne Truffle did. Now one thing I wonder is why they put the truffle in the name because truffles are like, you know, like those little things you forage, but, but truffles that we eat um, sweetness wise usually are made with chocolate and most times they're made with dark chocolate but sometimes they're made with white chocolate now I don't really get a white chocolate vibe here but white chocolate is very very sweet and so maybe that's why they're kind of they're just tying it into the New Year's theme but anyway we'll see how it does right now I would say a light to medium scent but it's a nice break from all the um, heavy hitters we've had amber hollow butter pecan be merry and Christmas cuddles all in my opinion quite strong so uh, this is great for people that might be looking for a, a lighter variety. So one other thing I want to mention, this is the final month that you can pick up Watermelon Wave. So if you're a Watermelon Wave fan, you want to be aware that you should either add it to Scentsy Club or stock up now before it's gone. And right now we're in Christmas Cuddles mode and it's a pretty good scent. I'm enjoying it. I don't love it, but I do like it a lot. And it's kind of getting mixed reviews, but in my opinion, it is a pretty good performer. So. As always, thanks for spending the last six minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.